All right. Can everybody hear me okay? Yes? Um, I guess I'm pretty loud, actually. This is great. Um, so today we're going to be talking about uh, an integration that we've done together. Uh, and we're going to tell you a little bit about Bug Crowd, and we're going to tell you a little bit about Bug Bounties and how we kind of see the space. Uh, my name is Jonathan Cran. I'm the head of product at Bug Crowd. And Bug Crowd's a small startup based in San Francisco uh, doing bug bounties, helping companies sort of grow uh, and manage bug bounties. And Frank, yep. uh, my partner in crime here. Uh, my name is Frank Tucci, director of product for Qualys, uh, m mainly application security space. Cool. Yep. Very good. So um, a quick agenda. Um, we're basically going to talk about you know, how we ended up here today, uh, how we decided to do the integration, show it to you guys, uh, exactly how it works, and then kind of talk about what's coming in the future. So um, obviously we've done our introduction, so I'm going to skip over this slide. Uh, my background in general is technical security penetration testing. Uh, Frank, similar, right? We come from a technical background. We're really focused on the AppSec space now. Um, so Bug Crowd is uh, uh, growing and, and helping companies uh, in this uh, world of bug bounties where they're launching a bug bounty on a, an application and enrolling an application into a program and then you know growing that program over time. And so um, really you know how we position that is we help uh, uh, companies uh, set up these programs, manage them, and, have, and find vulnerabilities. And bug bounties are a relatively new uh, control, if you will, uh, for application security. Um, we're sort of exploring how they fit into customers' application security programs. And so this has been a, a, a journey, if you will, of uh, sort of figuring out how to work together. It's been great. Yeah. So um, you know, what is a bug bounty? Um, is there anybody here that's not familiar with this or anybody that wants? Yes, we've got one in the back. Uh, so let me tell you about bug bounties. <laughs> Uh, basically, uh, we run a platform and we invite researchers to the platform and we run public programs and then we have many private programs as well. And so, uh, you know, researchers start to participate in those public programs and build a reputation and get invites and build trust into private programs. And so, uh, basically, uh, anybody can sign up build a reputation, uh, show off their skills, and start to build that ability to uh, get access to more uh, customers and more programs, and then are rewarded for finding vulnerabilities um, in those companies. And so there's a lot of devil in the details, but at a high level, that's really how it works. Uh, and so, you know, why are companies turning to bug bounties? Um, you know, what is, uh, what is the reason that, that's really driving folks to this? I mean, there's a bunch of different reasons, um, including, you know, the push to Agile, um, the push to the cloud, application layer, everything. Um, and, and, you know, this idea of ballooning attack surface um, at the perimeter uh, or, or at, at the application layer. And there's not really another way to do this uh, that allows smart, uh, intelligent people to look at an application um, at scale. And so we're having a lot of success with enterprise companies actually launching bug bounties. And, uh, you know, in, in doing this, um, they're starting to get testing at the business logic layer um, and at layers that they've, they've you know, traditionally have been very hard uh, to do. And so um, why would we integrate? Um, I'm, I'm just going to hand it to Frank sure. for a second to talk a little bit about Qualys and sort of how this integration came together. Yeah, so if, if anyone here is familiar with how our web application scanning works, we know that we have implicit strengths in, in our platform and our model. Um, so what we do is we do an automated scanning of your web applications at a high scale and very automated way. Um, so what we can do is we can take care of your um, cyber hygiene per se and uh, really take care of the automated scanning at scale. We can take care of tens, hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands of web applications and automate the coverage of those as they change and they progress and report those details. However, you all know that we're not replacing pen testing. However, it, again, I think bug crowd and bug bounty programs really kind of are f in many facets of the industry. And with that, we know that there are a lot of manual vulnerabilities, business logic, uh, kind of any kind of a human labor intensive um, multiple or polyglot any type of uh, combination attacks that are really put together to take advantage. And that comes into the, um, the app layer of, of vulnerabilities getting more complicated. 
that is a good thing, but we need the creativity of yeah. bug crowd and our re the researchers to do and, this. And in talking with customers, right, they're, they're already running Qualys and they're sort of adding on a layer of bug bounty and, and they kind of find different things, you know, like 100%. you've got, you've got your, your, your things that are being found with Qualys and you've got things, and there is some overlap in those, but by and large, you kind of need both controls. And that's what we're finding is that um, folks are running DAST and running yep. Qualys and, and scanning their applications and then are also running a bug bounty. And, you know, those things need to work together and you need to be able to share information between those platforms. So, so really different kinds of vulnerability information, but at the end of the day, you have to prioritize, right? Um, so, so a single place to manage is really what we're trying to create here. And at the same time, one thing that's really important when you're running a bug bounty, because you have uh, people at uh, outside the organization who are reporting that you need to keep in the loop with what's happening with your vulnerabilities, fast feedback loops are really important to be able to say, hey, we've already found this with a scanner, or hey, someone else has already found this. So the faster you can make those feedback loops, the faster you end up uh, uh, having success with your program. You want to engage those researchers and let them spend time learning your application. So um, yeah, I guess with that, let's go yep. to the next slide. So, so really, how does this integration work? Um, like I said, it's, it's about information sharing. It's about having uh, vulnerabilities that uh, are found in one platform available in another platform so that you can manage them in Qualys or you can duplicate against them in Bug Crowd. Um, so basically, uh, we mapped, uh, we spent a bunch of time mapping our vulnerabilities and making sure that we could speak a same common language. Uh, so we mapped on type and severity. So a high severity issue that Qualys finds um, and it becomes a high severity issue in Bug Crowd. You know, an XSS in Qualys is an XSS in Bug Crowd, et cetera. So uh, from Qualys, we end up getting uh, vulnerability information. We put those into submissions. A and on the, the Qualys side, they end up getting detections. But it's basically being able to map and say, this is the same issue. Yeah. So um, with that in mind, I think we're ready to kind of show it off and explain sort of. Sure. I'll go first. Yeah, please. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so within our WAS product, uh, we redid the detections tab. It is now a, a, a top level tab there. And what we, what we found here is that being able to have the central repository of all your vulnerabilities, whether they're found with a manual pen test tool, such as Burp, um, whether they're found with the creativity a, and the usefulness and resourcefulness of the bug crowd community, or they're found with their automated scan. It's really getting that information in one area. Uh, so we found this area being detections. Now what we do is it's a simple export um, out of Bug Crowd's crowd control platform, and it's an import directly into um, our Qualys web application solution. And here you can see the various um, you can see the various vulnerabilities. So we have the Bug Crowd. Uh, logo icon here for any bug crowd found vulnerabilities. We have the burp logo for any burp imported vulnerabilities. And then obviously our automated um, population of our Qualys QIDs for our web application scanning vulnerabilities that we find. Now all of this information is local, uh, is located one central source. You can apply tags, reports, filtering, etc. You could also apply delegation for rights of who gets to see what. So if you're running a bug bounty program on a few different apps or a few different web applications, but you don't want certain people with logins to be able to see the bug crowd findings or the Qualys findings for other applications that they may not have access to, you can also control that and report on that from the central repository. Yeah. It, it adds a ton of value to be able to manage this information and be able to distribute that to the people who need to fix it. Yeah, absolutely. And easily manage these from the tabs. You import your bug crowd files, import your burp files. From this, you can also export. And Jonathan will show you our export from our platform into the crowd control platform yep. uh, in a similar yeah, fashion. Yeah, and you really need to do both sides, right? Absolutely. Here you've got the management side of this. You're distributing the information into the organization. On our side, we need to be able to see if there's something that's found here, bring it into our platform so that we can tell the researcher, hey, we already know about this. So if you would, Frank, uh, there's two videos that I want to show. Sure, absolutely. And the first one is the researcher video, um, just to explain sort of how information comes into our platform. Yep, that's it right there. Perfect. Um, so so uh, 
go ahead and hit play here. And basically what this is going to do, you're on a bug crowd profile. This is just uh, my profile for lack of a better one to do. And this is our list of programs. And so I'm just going to go select a program that we can test on. Uh, so I'm going to go to the Hack Me program. Um, so I'll just go to the very end here. And these are all public programs, by the way. These are all uh, uh, publicly available. Anybody can sign up and start to hack on them. Um, and HackMe is just a testing program that we can use to show this off. So I'm going to go in and pretend I'm a researcher right now and I'm submitting a, a vulnerability. And I'll say, oh, you know, we found a cookie with the HTTP only attribute missing. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and submit that on the HackMe target. And by the way, you know, uh, we have Qualys running on this as well. And you'll see in a second that Qualys has already found this issue. Uh, so there's, uh, so we want to be able to share that information between. And we're, what we're able to do here is also cut overhead in time, knowing that our automated scan is already picking up these things. Yeah. And that way, the flexibility and custom, uh, the ability to customize duplicates, et cetera, uh, on That's the right. platform. That's right. So this is going to submit the vulnerability. So it's going to show up in my program uh, as an organization now. So um, we just had a researcher submit something to our program. And there it is. You can see the vulnerability. And you can see that we classified it. And it's likely a P4, meaning it's rel relatively low severity. Um, and it's currently in new status. Um, so I think we can start the next video now. Um, and that'll show us the customer side of this, where I'm a customer. I just had a researcher report an issue to me. And I've already found it with Qualys. So what I'm going to want to do is duplicate against that. You good? So, yep, go ahead. Cool. So what you're looking at is the customer view of the platform. And so um, we can see that the researcher, in this case, submitted a cookie. Uh, sorry, an HTTP only attribute missing on a cookie, which is vulnerability. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go check and make sure our Qualys uh, 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 integration is set up appropriately. So I'm just going to show you what this sort of looks like. Pretty straightforward. We just hit the API. You have credentials. It's enabled. And then I'll show you the configuration of an application. And it's configured on a per application basis, right? Like you can, Correct. You can run programs with certain applications in them, certain not. Uh, pretty and with the similar scoping, yeah, for exactly. these applications. Yeah, it's all about scoping there. Cool. So we're all set up. So what we're going to do then is go over to the submissions and actually take a look at the submission that that researcher just submitted. Cool. And you can see that over here. And you're going to see all the same details. You know, this is just exactly what came in from a researcher. And what we're going to want to do is say, hey, do we know anything about this? Have we ever seen any anything like this before? And and you know, remember, hey, Qualys actually may have already found this. So uh, let's go ahead and search for it. And what you'll see is that because we've uh, uh, integrated with Qualys, we've, we've got the information already there. And so we're going to take a look at these submissions and try to determine, is this the same vulnerability? Is this a different vulnerability? You know, how should we, uh, how should we think about this? And we just need to do a little bit of investigation. And what you can see is that we've pulled in all this information from the Qualys WAS. Uh, and, and we can already see the, the details in here. So, you know, hey, this actually looks like the same issue. Um, so what we'll want to do is just verify, looking at the details, and we need to have those details here to make it easy. And, okay, yeah, it looks like a duplicate. Let's go ahead and hit duplicate, and you'll see. And I was on a pretty poor connection during this time, so this may take a minute to load. But what you're looking at now is a screen that allows you to, to correlate that information and tell the researcher, hey, we already knew about this. All right. Oh, there we go. And the amount of, um, you know, we put a lot of time and work into making sure that the QIDs and the findings on the bug crowd had, a, had the right synergy and mappings. Right. right. Uh, we did that on a one-to-one -one basis. <laughs> it took some time, but yeah, it, it, it worked out. Uh, yeah. And so now you can see, actually, like this has been marked as a duplicate. The researcher is going to get a point for that because, hey, we already knew about it, but we wanted to make sure that they understood, hey, it's a valid vulnerability. Uh, we incentivize on our platform folks who report things that are duplicates um, and, and you know, try to encourage further testing. Um, and from the researcher side, I'm not sure if I refresh this or not, but you'll see, yeah, this is the researcher view, and it shows up as a duplicate and one kudos points. So, yep. you know. Uh, basically, what this is is closing the loop of information between these different tools. You know, we're finding similar things, um, and we have different strengths. You know, Qualys' strength is really in the, the the scale and the ability to to test lots of different applications and, and to dig into uh, uh, automated testing and, and really have good results there. And ours is in the the sort of creativity, of the crowd, the business logic testing, um, and trying to focus those areas for customers that have both solutions.
There we go. Cool. And now we've closed the loop. Everybody's happy. And so I think that's the end of the video, Frank. And yep. I want to talk a little bit about what we're thinking about in the future. So we'll just jump back to the slides here. Yeah, next. So, um, you know, that's all well and good, uh, but I think there's more we can do here. Um, so, so you saw from the bug crowd side, we're pulling in from the API. We've talked about from the Qualys side, pulling in from the API as well. I can hand it to you to talk about that for a second. Yeah, so one thing with our web application scanning that you probably know or may not know is that all of the, what you can do with our UI, you can also do with our API. Um, we have great success in, in embedding ourselves into SDLC processes. Uh, developers love using APIs more than UIs. And what we're going to try to do is concentrate on making sure that this is more of a seamless integration yeah. with API automation back and forth between BugCrowd and Qualys. Yeah. And that's not built in right now. Right now, you're doing the uh, manual export and import. Next phase, we'll try to automate that with the uh, API. And it's all about workflow, right? It's all uh, about absolutely. saving people time, right? Yeah. This is a huge time savings. We think we can do even more. Yep. Um, known vulnerability information sharing is pretty interesting. Um, it, this is a, there's a lot compressed into that statement. <laughs> uh, what we what we think and what we're finding from customers is that there's interest in sharing some of their scan results with customers, uh, sorry, with researchers uh, to be able to encourage those researchers to test in certain areas. So if you're working with a trusted set of researchers, um, you can actually take information from Qualys and publish it to them and say, hey, we know these things. So so here's already the information we know. Go ahead and take these further. Yep. Right. And in addition, uh, taking that another step further, there's the possibility to say, hey, we know these things and we're not sure if it's actually exploitable. Go ahead and take that and verify that it is actually exploitable. And that'll help me prioritize as a program owner and as a, a customer who has to uh, essentially prioritize what we're going to fix you know, and prioritize that against every other thing we have to do. Yeah. Um, so the goal here is just to uh, help customers have the best information, have actionable information in front of them, and to utilize the crowd and to utilize the strengths of both platforms to be able to uh, essentially prioritize and, and you know, work with actionable information. Absolutely. The um, it, known vulnerability sharing also goes to the fact that as we made those mappings and things, we're constantly looking at new attacks, new vectors, et cetera. And we're also sharing those kind of the information with each other. Right. Um, new Angular uh, template injection or something that comes out, obviously it's publicized, but we're working very closely with each other to make sure that all the, the information is properly shared with the, uh, to pretty much be able to explain further and show the customer exactly what we're finding. That's right. Yep. That's right. So with that, um, any questions? We would love to hear feedback of any mutual customers. Uh, so Qualys has a lot of customers. Bug Crowd has a lot of customers. And we'd like anybody working in application security uh, within any mutual customers to give us any kind of feedback if there's certain things or features that you also may, may want or want to see. Or if you have any questions about the existing integration, now would also be a great time. Yep. Going once, twice, thrice. Cool. Very There's good. our contact information. Feel free to contact either of us. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. you. <laughs> All right. All right. Very good. We're good. I guess we're going to do a drawing you guys now. You want to raffle this up? Yeah. Special guest will uh, nice. draw it up for us. All right. Here it is. They'll get sick of seeing the me Jerry after over a few there's days. hoping you pull a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Number 4257015. Shut up. Jerry. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> it actually is. That's really funny. You got it. Yeah. You got it. It's yours. What did he win? He gets to pick. Yeah. Pick yeah. a card, any card. <laughs> I will say that the last two winners got iPads, so it's totally in your hands. I'm terrible at cards. I will pick this one. Apple TV. Apple TV. Apple TV. Yeah, it is. There you go. Nice. Grab we'll grab it for you over here. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.